Hello dear friends, good uh, evening. So this video is about about learning Chinese and it's not a systematically learning, it's just a randomly I, I come out with some idea. It's I am not so serious planning a lesson. It's uh, <clears throat> at least not planning a lesson for you. It's uh, part of the lesson I teach my students, I let my students know some of the, the reasonings and some very simple explanation. And this one, we are talking about Chinese writing. Chinese writing, you can see this paper here. This paper I made for my students. And I think I designed it uh, with, um, with Word document and make some... Uh, make some table or, or, or blocks and then border and inside I'll show you in more detail yes each character is about our thumbnail this size so you can see here oh that's too much wait, wait a little bit okay, have it are we in the right room? Okay, this is clear, right? So it's one character with a small dots inside so that you can see <coughs> Chinese character usually is a square, but actually it's not exactly square. It can be composed with upper and lower. For example, we say the character B right from here character B the upper part is ma, a bamboo and the lower part is hair and uh, bamboo and hair it makes a brush right this is Chinese brush I'm sorry I'm writing it is out of proportion it is not pretty and the first one is not a good example. Let me first start why it is not so good. Because the upper part is a little bit too big and the bottom part is a little bit too small. It does not look that good. Not that balanced. We always like uh, if about a human it should be a long leg and uh, larger bottom and smaller head. This one is still. What happened to me? And this one is a little bit better. So, character should be balanced. And another character is my name. For example, it has a left part. This part is mu, wood. And right part, yang, hai. This character also composed of two parts. Right? So, left part and right part. Sometimes the left part have less strokes, it takes less space, and the right part takes more space. And uh, there is not really an exact uh, fixed rule, because uh, I do painting and I do art, there is no rule. Character writing is also, it's, um, it's a, a literature art, and it's, uh, it's another art form. Writing, Chinese writing is an art form. Make it balanced and beautiful, it is more important. So each character, make it proportional and balanced. So this one is si xin, upper part and lower part. So you have some characters left and right, some up and down, and some just exactly in the middle, tian, the field. It's one character, Zhong. So it's symmetric. So Chinese character is, is usually balanced. Make sure it is uh, <coughs> in the right uh, right shape and take, take up the right space. <coughs> a small portion put, take a smaller space and big portion takes a big space. There is really not... Uh, a complicated rule. It's a, 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 
it's a very, very easy rule. And also another part of Chinese character is character writing. Is Chinese character writing has a stroke order. So, for example, um, my name, the Yin, you start from upper part and then lower part, right? From top to bottom, go down this way, and from left to right. This is my character, my name. So from left to right, and another one from left to right. For example, ding, uh, a mu, let's say, mu, from left to right, top to bottom, pie, na. With one more stroke, it becomes ben tian, left to right, left to right. And this one is just a, a strong line and cha goes to left, and strong line cha goes to the right. Tian, xia, sky, below. So <coughs> this is the Chinese stroke order. And uh, there is... Um, it's not so complicated, and for example, this xia, this is the right way to write. So if you write this way, yourself feel it is so awkward, right? It follows the basic human nature, and even you write A, B, C, D, so you write this way. It's always C, D. E. It's also kind of a, a certain stroke order to write a character, a certain way of writing a character. And when I teach Chinese, I always have students ask me, why do you have a, a stroke order? <clears throat> Some very uh, profound, of, it's not really not a joke, people do not understand why you use a stroke order, and what is the point of this stroke order. And some very knowledgeable person, and very um, very rational person also ask me why you follow a stroke order. <clears throat> it is just the way Chinese do it. It's like... Um, let me put it into a simple way. It's like uh, you wear a mini skirt and you wear the most fancy dress and then you wear a pair of uh, sneakers. It, th you are not against the law, right? Uh, th the police will not come to give you a ticket, will not arrest you. You are not doing anything that is uh, totally uh, illegal, but it's just uh, so you feel so not right. It is same as writing Chinese character. Make it right. And uh, make it... Uh, or, or like uh, <clears throat> you eat uh, you eat a cake with soya sauce. It just does not sound right, does not feel right. And writing Chinese character is the same thing. And, uh, and this is roughly about it. Writing Chinese character, write it slowly and uh, proportionally, and uh, then you will do. You will start the right way. Everybody, everybody in Chinese writes this way because for hundreds, thousands of years, we already figure out. Well, this is a very natural way and a comfortable way, so we follow this. And sometimes we see students, for example, we write um, ko, ma, 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 ma. And it is easy for them to write this ko, the mouse, this way. For students, they are lazy. Sometimes the students are lazy. When, when I was young, I think I, think I tried, but... Uh, but uh, but parents has very strict law. My parents has very strict rule. You should not do that. So we, we usually do not dare to do this. And also at the end, it does not speed up too much. And you do the right way, it does not slow down. So we follow the right rule. And uh, then later on, <coughs> 
when we were a teenager, I think when I myself a teenager, I always trying to do something rebellion or trying to do something against the teacher, against the parents. Whatever teachers say what to do, we try to against. And we do ma like this most bizarre way, yes. So it's very, it's, it becomes even more complicated. So use the right way to write it. So let's write some <coughs> real characters together, okay? The first thing in Chinese, what we say is ni hao. Ni is you, hao is good. Ni and in third tone, ni, 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 hao, he, ao, hao. I think for American it's quite easy to pronounce. And in Chinese, this pinyin has its already fixed rule. It becomes a very standard. So uh, <clears throat> you just learn to follow this standard. And this standard seems very easy for for people who speak English or French or, or any other alphabetic language, uh, alphabetic uh, pronunciation, very easy to, Roman carriage, very easy to, to understand. So, ni hao means hello. Remember it and write several times. Let's write together. Yi, ha, san, si, wu, Leo Chi Ni Hao Yi A San Si Wu Leo <coughs> So when I'm writing it I'm actually counting the number. I will do it again. This is one two in class, I do this way. One, two, and sometimes I say in Chinese, three, four, uh, five, six, seven. <coughs> One, two, three, four, uh, five, six. So students follow me because I, I make different sounds so they know there is uh, the two strokes connected together and uh, one stroke have uh, have turn in it. Ni hao. <coughs> and this is a hello. And comment uh, allez-vous? And uh, it's not really a question, it's just a greeting. And if you want to make it a little bit more uh, polite, it's not really more polite. Make it a little bit more a big deal. You add one more word. Ni hao ma ni. Still the same character. Ni hao ma. How are you? In Chinese, this ma is a way to ask questions. When you say, how are you, in Chinese, you are good, right? Are you good? You are good? Is that right? So it's ni hao ma. Okay? So it's, uh, it's a little bit too, too easy for you, I know. It's kind of a, a dummy, no, not dummy, super duper easy lesson to get started. So what we can <coughs> work on is on the pronunciation. Ni, if we separate each of these sound, ni is third, third tone. In Chinese, there are four tones, or actually five tones. A, 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 and light tone. <coughs> so ni is the third tone, is a, Ni and hao is the third tone. Ni hao ma is the light tone. So ni hao ma. Don't you think it's complicated and so difficult to pronounce? So in Chinese there is another rule. 
when the two sounds connected, both are third tones, we lighten up the first and make it into second tone. So it becomes ni hao ma instead of ni hao ma. It is too complicated. So we change into ni hao ma. Ni hao ma, ni hao ma, ni hao ma. Okay? And uh, for example, if we want to say, if we got three third tone sounds together, both the first and second, however many, it just uh, all change into second tone. Let's do it again. I think this one you, you really need to know something. Ni hen hao ma. Sorry. Ni hen hao ma. Ni. Forget about it. Hen hao. Ma. So you change into ni hen hao ma. Okay? Uh, 我想你, 我爱, 我想你, 我想你, so, <coughs> Both, all the three um, three characters are in the third tone, right? 我想你, gosh, it's so, it means I miss you. And uh, it is so difficult to pronounce in Chinese, I miss you. So, so I think in, in China, to meet somebody it must be a very big deal because uh, the pronunciation is so complicated. And uh, <clears throat> this one, we lighten it up because third, third tone and this one become second tone. And the last one is always keep its, its real original tone. And this one become second tone. So, 我想你 Okay, if we add up another word, 我很想你, 很 is always certain, 我很想你, 我也很想你, I also miss you very much, 我也很想你, do, do I explain it well? So, the rule is, if there are many, 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 many of these checks. Many, many of these third tones. Just change the third tones into second tone, and the last one keep the original third tone. Da 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 instead of instead of da 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 okay so this is the basic rule of of Chinese and it is all these rules are man made to make to 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 make the language easy to learn or more difficult to learn. Uh, the best way to learn a language is through speaking, speaking with your friend, speaking with uh, your colleague, your uh, Chinese restaurants, uh, a person or a co-worker, whatever. And uh, hear what they say. If you do not have this chance, I wonder why do you want to learn Chinese? <laughs> Sorry. I swallowed that sentence back. Anyway. 
<coughs> it is a very difficult language, and uh, and um, do not. It's already very difficult. Do not make yourself too much uh, a struggle in it. Do not make it harsh. Relax and uh, read each word slowly. Something you do not understand, do not try to understand because your level is not yet there, and uh, a lot of things just need time and experience to understand. Same as French, um, une um, une situation or une um, une. Uh, une fille, une, un, the, the masculine, feminine, all these things, it just takes time. And the English preposition, it takes time, takes experience to know it. There is really not much you can do about it. It takes time. Mm. So this is our... Uh, our random scattered thoughts about Chinese. I hope this one can get you to sleep with frustration. And uh, you came to my place, and uh, you were... Oh, did you hear the, the digital camera sound? Because you see, my hand is moving. Maybe next time I will... Oh, yes, there is a, a mirror. I can show you this. You can see this camera. <coughs> And this camera, when we bought it, I did not know. After some time, uh, two weeks or something, I started to getting understand it. So this lens, this, okay, yes, this one, you can turn it, you can turn it. And uh, <clears throat> the, um, the lens is super, super sensitive. It is so sensitive that any movement, it will detect that uh, I am changing the distance of the focal point. And the uh, digital camera is usually by color contrast, by the lightness contrast. So, you see, my hand is moving. Okay, do a lot. Get a pretty pen. So the the camera the camera <clears throat> this lens is trying to catch the pen or trying to catch a moving object, or trying to ca catch the main object of this um, <clears throat> of uh, of of this place, and find where to focus. If you movement too fast, it lost its ability to 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 detect. If you move slowly, it constantly, constantly moving and changing its distance to to find out what is the best focus. And um, some people say it's a defect. Um, I don't know whether it's a defect or not. You can see the the um, there it there are two one two there are two can you see oh sorry yes it must be I I I I can see it you cannot see it so there are two holes. Okay, there is one hole. Yes, there is one hole and another hole. Okay, yeah, this is good. Let me put this light away. 
Yes. Okay. One hole here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. One hole here. This hole, there are two holes in this camera. And these two holes are the microphone. It gets the sound. So it's kind of um, it's kind of a stereo sound because it has two sound input. It gets a sound from this direction and also gets sounds from this direction and gets sounds from this direction. So <clears throat> two directional of sound. So the sound is quite sensitive, and especially this hole is. One of the mic is just below, below this lens, this lens, this automatic lens. So <clears throat> any of the tiny movement of uh, of the lens moving, it uh, it hears the vibration and uh, <clears throat> and record it. So if when I talk, you do not feel that much because. I am making noise. My noise is louder than the machine noise. But if I do not talk, see, you hear it. So it's not really a problem. It's, uh, it's not a problem because the, um, the machine is really actively thinking and moving and making making judgment and uh, <clears throat> and it's just too smart it's smarter than us right and um, and uh, it keep moving it never never take a rest yes not like us we have a chance to be lazy just not think but this machine by design is always think and uh, on the other hand if the, if the, I think if the the camera company redesign the the mic, put into a place, for example, on this side one or on another side one, a little bit further away to get sound input, a little bit further away from the lens, might be less noise. And also make this mechanic moving, move, moving more smooth with um, suspension, with a kind of cushion, and make it uh, make it sound muffled. What is the word? Xiaoyin. I know the Chinese word, but uh, make the sound less noise. Then it will be good. And um, so this one is just uh, answering some of the friends' questions. I keep getting friends question because it's so noise noisy and uh, and uh, some people feel it annoying and it is very true when you do not understand when do you do not know the reason of this noise it can be very annoying when you know the reason of it you kind of appreciate and uh, and uh, appreciate the smart of smartness of it, the, 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 the smart thoughts, design of it. On the other hand, you feel there is still room for improvement. And um, uh, a usual automatic way to, to improve this is by... Let me put some pretty things instead of my... <laughs> My handwriting is not so pretty. Um, <clears throat> oh yes. So another way of uh, of doing it is uh, is by editing. How do you edit it? You put video and put the sound into very very low put sound into zero and re-record the sound and separate the sound anyway it's uh, it's a lot of work i do not do that work so so we live with what we have that's what i do i live with what i have and, uh,
and uh, thank you very much for all of your time and, uh, and interest. I think I should turn it off. I'm becoming more and more just for sleeping. I, not just for sleeping. I'm sure you are already deep, 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 deep into your sleep. Let me know what else you want to learn about Chinese. And... Uh, And uh, and uh, <clears throat> I will prepare something to entertain you. Okay. Oh yes, I just made a video of sesame bun. If any of you know the meaning of sesame bun, let me know. And um, I have a message there. If you can understand why I say sesame bun, or just guess why do I name it sesame bun? Okay. What is the relation between my picture? And uh, sesame bun. Okay. Sesame bun. Uh oh, where is that sesame bun? Let me put into the sesame bun. Sesame bun, 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 bun. Okay, okay, I put into full screen. I think now it is good. It must be good at this time. Wow, this can. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is a video I. Do you know why it is called sesame bun? Such a shameless person. She is. She has no shame. Uh oh, stopped. Oh, this, this image is so bad. No, not so bad. It's okay. I'm, uh, I will not put that one. So, if you know the meaning of sesame bar. Let me know. Make a guess, okay? Make a guess. 